If you want to be a pilot, you're going to at some point come across the FAR AIM. Now, this is a 2022 version. It's outdated. Don't ever use an outdated version. This is just what I had in the office. But a FAR AIM is the Federal Aviation Regulations and also the Aeronautical Information Manual combined into one, what a lot of people call the Bible of Aviation. So this is your guidebook to all of the regulations and an information manual from the FAA. So if you want to be a pilot, you're going to at some point have to get quite familiar with this book. So I'm going to show you today how to navigate it. There's a lot in here and it can be kind of confusing. So I'm going to talk you through the different sections and give you some shortcuts to navigate the FAR AIM. If you've got one, grab your current FAR AIM and let's go ahead and open it up. So the first thing that I want to show you is this copy. It's in the first couple pages and it has these sections which I'll put up on the screen and it shows private, recreational, remote, flight engineer, instrument, CF, double I, commercial. It shows a bunch of different sections. And what this is showing you is the regulations that are applicable to the various certificates. So if you're a student pilot who is seeking their private pilot certificate, you would go to the private section. And the, the thing that I would tell a student to start with is go through all of these regulations and highlight them as you go through and that would help you start to build a foundation of your knowledge in aviation. So that is the first thing. So use that, go through the book and that'll help you know just what is pertinent, what you actually need to know because there's a lot in here that you don't need to know and you don't need to waste your time with that. All right, so the next thing I want to show you is just a couple pages further. This is the FAR contents. This is our table of contents for the first half of the book. So uh, we're just walking through the sections and what they are, which sections are applicable to, uh, we're going to use a student pilot since that's probably the type of person that would be watching this video. So part one is definitions and abbreviations. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. Part 43 is uh, the most important thing here for a pilot is preventative maintenance. So you're going to need to be familiar with what preventative maintenance is, who can do it, and how it must be accomplished. Uh, the next important section I'm going to point out is part 61. So part 61 and part 91, these two sections are the two that you'll be the most familiar with out of anything. So part 61 is going to have anything related to certification. So if it's about getting a private license, that's where you'll find it. Now part 91 is about general operating and flight rules. So if it's about anything to do with, with a rule like when you can drink alcohol or not drink alcohol, it's going to be in part 91. Now I'm going to show you 49 CFR, uh, part 830 and 1552. So 830, it's towards the back of the FAR and this shows you when an accident or incident needs to be reported to the FAA. So you don't necessarily have to have things in the section memorized when you go to a check ride, but you do need to know where to find it and how to interpret a different scenario. So if, a, if an examiner on your check ride said, Let's say you hit a coyote with the propeller as you're coming in for landing. Does that need to be reported? Well, the first thing you do is you'd open up your FAR AIM and go to section 830, and that is where you'd find the answer to their question. All right, and then the last one that I said there, 1552, this is all about TSA uh, security. So uh, when you sign up for flight training, uh, they're going to need to verify your U.S. citizenship in America or if you're not a citizen, you'll need to go through a TSA application process and be approved before you begin training in the United States. So this outlines how that's accomplished. There's more in here, but those are kind of the big ones that you need to be familiar with. After that, we're gonna go ahead and look at the second half of the FAR AIM, which is the Aeronautical Information Manual. This is not regulations, it is guidance. So you definitely need to listen and take the guidance of the FAA. This is from the mouth of the FAA, but um, it's not necessarily saying that this is a law. So this is going to have a ton of sections, things like airspace, navigation, uh, safety of flight, medical information. So there's a lot in here. I'm not going to go through it all, uh, but like I showed you in the beginning, that will show you which regulations are pertinent to the certification that you are seeking. Now my final note on the FAR AIM is when you go through and you highlight, I recommend that you tab the FAR AIM and that you put what each section is talking about on your tabs so that when you go to your check ride, you can easily find the different sections. 
on your check ride, you're probably going to be a little bit nervous. Your hands might be sweating. You might blank out and forget what you're thinking about. Uh, and so it's nice to have it tabbed and just have easy access. If the examiner asks you a question you don't know, you can pop open the FAR AIM and quickly and easily find that answer for them. If you guys have any other questions about the FAR AIM, put them in the comments and I will happily answer all that I can. Don't forget, never take an outdated FAR AIM into your check ride. That's a big no-no. Make sure your charts and your documents are current.